a refrigeration system consumed 28,800 kilowatt hour per month of energy. Let's assume that's our indicated power. There is a 20% energy loss due to the cooling system the compressor. And the motor efficiency is 90%. If the coefficient of performance COP of the system is 6, find the tons of refrigeration of the system. In this case is Q sub A in terms of tons of refrigeration. So first we should convert our indicated power into kilowatts. So in a month, there's an average of 720 hours. So we get an indicated power of 40 kilowatts. And we know that the motor efficiency is equal to the brake power divided by indicated power. We already know N sub M, which is 90%. Trying to find our brake power. And we just sold for our IP, which is 40 kilowatts. So our brake power is equal to 36 kilowatts. So, what is a coefficient of performance? Well, that is simply the ratio of useful heating. Or cooling, in this case it's cooling, provided to the work energy required. This is just the work of the compressor. Going by that definition, our COP is equal to the refrigerating effect divided by the work of the compressor. First we should account for the energy loss by multiplying our brake power by 1 minus the energy loss in percent. This is 36 kilowatts. This is 20%. And let's quickly compute for that. Get a compressor work of 28.8 kilowatts. All right, now we have everything we need to get the refrigerating effect. We have the COP, we have the work of the compressor. So, in that equation, we, we simply need to multiply um, the work of the compressor by the COP. How much is that? 172.8 kilowatts. Now, if you remember, there are 3.52 kilowatts per ton of refrigeration. So all we need to do to convert this into tons of refrigerant is divide it by 3.52. And that gives us an answer of 49.1 tons of refrigerant and that is our final answer if this helped you consider supporting the channel on patreon if there are any questions leave them in the comments and i'll see you in the next one bye